Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. Here's Santa bringing you this new episode of Get Baked with Julia, brought to you by Bonjourno and Associates. For all of your cabling and communication needs, contact Bonjourno and Associates. Today's episode, I brought with me all the way from the North Pole, Mrs. Claus, and my favorite elf, Julia, who will be baking you Christmas cake and cookies. So the next time you go to late night, think of Julia and Mrs. Claus and their beautiful cakes and cookies for your Christmas delight. All right, Get Baked with Julia fans, we have our Christmas episode today, as Santa just told you. So it's me and my mom, a.k.a. Mrs. Claus. That was just my dad is apparently Santa, if you guys didn't know. So, um, yeah, that was Joe Nuzo. And um, I'm going to introduce my mom. Mom, come on. So this is my mom. Hi, everybody. And um, today we are going to make her famous Christmas log that she makes every year for the past 16 years since I was a really little kid. So let's get started. This is my mom's recipe, so I'm going to let her take free range, and then I'll make cookies after her. So go ahead, Mom. Okay, so we're gonna make the Yule log, and it's very easy because- She makes it. Anybody <laughs> who watches Julia's show knows I'm not a cook, but I can bake a little bit. Very little, <laughs> but and it's always around Christmas time. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is beat three eggs till they're nice and foamy and reach a peak. So which usually takes, takes about five minutes. Which takes about five minutes. So I'll do that. Push. She'll tell you a story. Okay. After the eggs are ready, we're going to put in sugar. It's the next ingredient that goes in gradually and slowly. Then we add the water and the vanilla. You know, when Julia was a little girl, about three years old, as I said, when I started making this cake, I also used to make Christmas cookies that Julia's going to be making in a minute. And from the first time Julia saw all this baking equipment and ingredients, she was totally enthralled and intrigued. So her baking career started at a very, very young age. So Julia, that looks like it's ready. I think so. Does this look ready, Mom? Yes, I don't it know. does. This is your thing, not mine. It does. Good? So now we have to gradually beat in the sugar. I'll beat it in with this so we don't have as much noise. How about okay, that? Okay, let's try that. All right. So go ahead, go in there. We'll do teamwork here, Ma. Okay. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So slower than the mixer will definitely do it, Ma. Don't worry about it. Okay. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it too, too fast because then the peaks will go away, and that's not what you want. You want it to be nice and foamy. It's mm -hmm. almost like a sponge cake that we're making. And this is also how you make meringue, even though it's not really because you only use egg whites in meringue, but. That's what you want. You want a very thick texture. Now we've been, I've been eating this cake since as long as I can remember, and I'm probably the only one besides my Aunt Larry in Brooklyn. And um, I eat it. And my mom, <laughs> they eat it. There's two people that eat it, but we make one for Christmas Eve at my dad's house, and one for Christmas Day at my mom's side of the family. So that's always a fun time. And um, she always makes two, and this is the one thing she contributes to Christmas. I mean, <laughs> the past couple of years, the cookies that I'm gonna make next, um, I haven't made in a really long time because that's when I started baking and I started making my own things. So my mom stopped sharing that tradition with us. But we're going to make it today. I am. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Come I on, shake the, sugar, shake the sugar, sugar. <laughs> shake the sugar. Shake the sugar. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, that's why I taught you from a young age so yes. that when you became uh, old enough, you could do it. Yes, by myself. Yes, she by yourself. Teaching me how to be an independent <laughs> that's woman. That's right. Always. Yes, Always. Mom. She's a very good... I always get compliments on how independent my children are. Yes, we're very independent. Don't depend on anybody for anything. No, not at all, except for money except so I can go out on the weekends. Except that's, that's for your father, the right. The but yeah, I, that's what I depend on my father for, not my <laughs> mother. I mean, you are the one that puts it in my account, so I can't really say that. This is really getting hard to mix if you couldn't tell, but you know. So we're still mixing, we are still mixing. And we're almost done. Okay, look at this. Uh, okay, very hey, good. Hey, Bella, look at this. All right, now we need to put it in a larger mixing bowl. Okay, so we're putting it in here. All right. So let's put that in there. Look at that. It's nice and it's nice and thick. It looks like a batter it's already. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's much more smooth than a regular let's batter. Let's do it with the with that so we get right. everything. Let's yeah, put let's, this. Yeah, let me put this. Hold that. Yeah. Everything's going to the same place. It doesn't matter if the cocoa coco is on there already. So we'll just go like this. Right. Get every single last drop. Baking is chemistry. Well, people. actually, we're going to need this again to be in the water and the. Okay, so get that. Rinse it off a little bit. Okay. Now, what you're going to do. 
That's that's good. Yep. Julie, you want to help me out? Yeah, I'll what do you want? Just pour in the water and the vanilla. How much slowly. water and vanilla are in here, Mom? That's a third of a cup of water and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so okay. we're going to have them all measured out because this is television magic. Right. So, so let's she's going to start mixing. Go ahead, Mom. Go ahead. We're doing this really? Well, actually, we should do it at the same time. I usually all right, do so it at the same time. We got, all right. Ready, doing it at the go. same time. Look yep. at this. Yeah. This is really, really, I don't know how she does this by herself, people. Look at this. The mixing together. I, I have a mix at home that, you know. She's the kitchen aid. I don't, I'm not hand stirring. That's yeah. how I do it. I'm not a big kitchen aid person. Okay. I didn't like it. So now that's done. So now what I have in here is three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour. I have a fourth of a cup of salt, a teaspoon of salt, sorry, not That's cup. That's a lot, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do That's that. That's why mom bakes only once in a while. <laughs> and a teaspoon of baking powder. And then a quarter of a cup of cocoa, unsweetened. So what I'm gonna do is mix it all together like this so we get a nice smooth. Even distribution, in That's Eastern, important. Right, so that it rises nicely. You yes. want that, that salt and that baking powder, not soda powder in here to make this rise nicely and because you're not going to want to mix this too much because you don't want to overbeat everything so we're going to mix this when Jen it's going to take a minute because we got to right. finish the segment soon so mommy's going to mix it up and then we're going to stir it up and then we're going to pour it the way this works is it's not like a regular cake it's not you don't put it in a cake pan you put it on a cookie dish now the, what size is this mom this is 15 by 10. this is a 15 by 10 cookie dish and then you're going to pour it in here and then we're going to put it in the oven at 375 for 13 minutes help i'm going to help her and we're, and we're gonna, just putting that in gradually. Mixing, mixing. Everything is gradual. Nothing is dumped in. No, it's not a dump okay. cake. It's not a dump cake. Just smack so it. So we're going to smack it in and she's going to mix it. Dumped it a little it's bit okay. She, I dumped it. <laughs> but I told her what we're going to do. We're going to pour it in here. And when we come back for my next segment, this is going to be in the oven. So I'm going to start making the cookies. So stay tuned for the next segment. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're back and my mom has to flip the roll. This is, um, just a cheesecloth that has a lot of confectioner sugar on it, and this mom, show, uh, mom will show you the technique. This is the hardest part of this whole project, okay? So you wanna get it nice and balanced, and then do one, two, three, flip. My mother is right professional. Right onto the, the confectioner sugar. Be careful. And then you're gonna lightly pick this up. Now th this literally just came out of the oven, like two this seconds literally ago. Literally just came out of the oven. You have to do it when it's hot. Oh. Now, the secret to this is, you use the new aluminum foil that's not stick. And it comes right out perfectly. If you Look don't, and you also have to grease this very well because half the cake could stick to this. So you want it to come out just like that. Yeah. All right. All right. So now I'm going to show you quickly how to roll it up. Just going to grab the ends and do one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's done. Flip, flip, flip. We put it on a cooling rack for about 20 minutes, and then we'll unroll it and finish the cake. That will be our third segment. So now. Um, so now we're gonna do my sugar cookies. Now these sugar cookies I've been making since I'm about three years old with my mom. And we're gonna make them again right now with this bowl that's back here that's out of my reach, which is a great idea. So first of all, I have everything measured out already because this is television show magic. So the beginning parts of this recipe is a, I probably should mix it in this bowl, but it's okay. We have a cup and a half of powdered sugar. Now we don't, these are sugar cookies and they are real sugar cookies because it's powdered sugar. So they're really, really sweet, no salt, nothing to cut or anything. And then we have a cup of margarine, which is in here because I had to use half whipped, half regular. So let's just seal that out of the, over there. And that's in there. Put all that nice, nice, get all of your butter. As we all know, butter is my favorite ingredient. It makes everything taste better, no matter savory, sweet, butter is best. So now we have one egg, which is right over here. I'm just gonna crack it in there. Never crack your egg directly into what you're using because if you get the shell, no one wants the sh a hard, cookie. So you're going to do one of those. Just bring it right in there. That could go. That's garbage. Yuck. And now we have half of a teaspoon. Ta -da! We have half of a teaspoon of almond extract and a teaspoon of vanilla extract in here. And we're going to put that in there. And now we have to mix this together. So I have my mixer over here. And this is just takes no time. Hold on. So here's the first part. This is what it should look like. I'll give it to my camera girl right here to take a nice zoom in. That's what it should look like before you add all your flour and stuff. So we have this base and then you're supposed to add it to, we have um, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now I'm sure you guys see me staring at this book. 
This book is older than me. This is the one cooking book that my mother owns. This is the Betty Crocker cookbook that is the OG. This is older than me. It's been around since longer than my parents' marriage, which is 30 years. So, geez, the Stone Age. And um, so this is the one. There's nothing bad in this cookbook. We call it the Spontaneous Combustion Cookbook because, as you can see, there's pages falling out, and it's a 1,000 year, years old. It looks like it was written in the colonial ages. But you always reference this book no matter what you're making in my house if you are Dorothy Muzo. So let's go back to the recipe. So in here we have the two and a half cups of flour, we have the teaspoon of cream of tartar, and we have the baking soda. So we're just gonna, because I was dumb and I put the dry ingredients in here instead of here, we're just gonna add the wet in here. Okay, so it's nice how thick that is. Because you don't have water in this or anything. This, these are not messing around, these cookies. Now, these cookies are supposed to be, the dough is supposed to be refrigerated for two hours before you bake them. And because I am a genius, I made some last night for us in my dorm room. Um, I was actually going to go into my kitchen, but the kitchen's locked because someone left the um, someone left the burner on last weekend. So now we can't use the kitchen in Cayuga forever. And then we went down to Daga today to use their kitchen, which is the kitchen I was using this semester. And someone was making a turkey. So their turkey hadn't even been thought out yet. So I was like, all right, we're gonna head over to Johnson. And thank God no one was down here or else we were SOL and my parents came up five hours for nothing from the North Pole. So we're gonna mix this all together. Just so, with our hand mixer. Just a quick intermission while I'm mixing these. While you're mixing, you're gonna notice that it's really grainy and it looks like this. This is not gonna be the final project. Don't get worried that you've messed up. I was about to curse. Um, don't get worried that you frigged up and uh, this is what it's supposed to look like before it's totally mixed. So let me go back and finish. Alright, so now we have, now I was mixing that one but that's not the TV show magic one because that one has to be mixed for two hours. So this is what the dough is going to look like after it's in the fridge for two hours. And this dough is easier to, um, to roll out when it's cold but it's been sitting out for a little while because we had a couple mishaps this morning when we were preparing to come to get baked with Julia. So when you're gonna roll out your sugar cookies, you're gonna do a, uh, do a floured surface. So where's my flour? My flour's over here. And so you're gonna throw a little bit of flour on your surface. You put this away, rub it out a little bit, you know? Do like this. And then place it down. Now when I was a little kid, my mother was telling me when I was three years old, I was a natural roller and beater. I mean, maybe it's just my Italian nature that I know how to beat the dough. And, oh God, that sounded awful. So you're gonna beat this a little bit and then you're gonna roll it out. Now, if you notice that your dough is sticking to your rolling pin, which mine isn't because I already did this, um, you're gonna, you can spray, gross, you're gonna spray some Crisco on it, the Crisco spray that I have that I used for the cookies, which is totally fine. It won't mess up the taste because you're gonna put it on the cookies anyway. You see how this is? being a little difficult for me, it's because it's not that cold anymore. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Um, it's not that cold anymore. Now you, according to the all-knowing, all-intuitive Betty Crocker cookbook, you want to do it 3 sixteenths of an inch. Um, I'm not that precise. I'm not going to go grab my ruler. So, you know, make it pretty thin. It's going to be like, I don't know, do an eighth of an inch. That's, that's close to 3 sixteenths. You really don't need to grab your ruler or anything. Make it thick enough that you can not see through it, but you know, it's, it'll be fine. You'll be good. I, I trust in you. I doubt you guys will make this. The cream of tartar was $7 a bottle, so I doubt you guys will ever make this recipe, but that's why I'm making it. If you want some, ask me, buy the ingredients, and you can have it, as I always say. So then you're just going to get your beautiful Christmas cookie cutters, as I have. I have my little gingerbread man. I'm going to do him a couple times. I also have ornaments and bells. I have a candy cane. Again, look, this is a trick. If you have these cookie cutters, or any cookie cutter for that matter, and it's a, hold on, this is a pain in the butt, and it is a pain and it's sticking to you, just go over the sink, don't want to slip on the floor like I just did, go over the sink, and spray your cookie cutter too with the Crisco spray. And so you're going to go like that. Look at that, comes right out. You, want, you don't have any issues. All right, so let's make all of our cookies. Now when I made these cookies when I was a little kid with my sister Laura, she would always make one. She made one cookie and it was a snowman. And what she would do is she would meticulously get these little, get these little colorful sprinkles right here that we're going to put on them. And she would do one at a time in a pattern with rainbows. It would take her about 45 minutes to do the cookie. And that's the only one she would make. 
and every single time she made the cookie, it would break in the oven. But she didn't care. She would always make that one cookie that was her cookie. She never ate it, it always broke. Some, me, Christina, or my mother would eat it just to mess with her. And that's Laura's cookie. It's always a little shambles because of the end, it, it's broken, but she put her hard work into it and it was her masterpiece. That was the one that she put work into. So it was the one she cared about the most and we always let her do it. We never discouraged her. We're like, all right, Laura, I know that we have to do all the work, but this is your cookie, it's your project. You've been doing it since you're little, so we'll let you keep going. All right, this is all your extra. You're just gonna roll it out. Now these cookies are sticking to, this pan, to the thing. So you're gonna use a knife or a spatula. I forgot my spatula, so I'm gonna use a knife. I already have some on here. This is a lightly grease sheet, again, with that Crisco stuff. But if you don't have the Crisco stuff, you could always use butter or oil. Of course, I usually opt for butter. That's the butter flavored spray. So that's what they look like on your pan. And just be very, very careful. Do the sharp side of your knife because that's the side that's gonna go onto the thing better. That doesn't exactly look like a candy cane, but it's fine. So you're gonna go like this. You're gonna get them on. You're gonna go like this. Get your cookies. Now, put them a little far apart. They're going to grow a little bit. They're not going to grow that much, but they do grow. So if you don't want them to stick together and be gingerbread Siamese twins, you'll put them far enough apart for them to be apart. So we're going to put these on here. And then once we're done with this, you're going to put on, oh, hold on. There's a little piece in there. You're going to put on your sprinkles. Yes, you put on the sprinkles before you bake them. Oh, this guy's legless. Oh, he lost them in the war. Oh, no. So you're not going to use him. He's fine. All right, so now we have these, and you're gonna put the sprinkles on first because um, they're gonna stick better. They're not gonna stick when they're baked. So open your sprinkles. These are Christmas sprinkles because this is our Christmas episode. So we're just, and then we're gonna pat them in so they stay on. And two, this is the Christmas episode. This is not the holiday episode. I am all for all everybody else's beliefs and stuff, but I have, I am Catholic, and this is Christmas. It is not Happy Holidays. It is Merry Christmas. Everybody else wants to be politically correct. I am not PC. I love Christmas. I love presents. I love Santa. I love Christmas trees. And that is what this episode is. I am not trying to be um, religionist, not racist. I don't know, biased against my religion. I don't know what it is. But this is Christmas time. This is a Christmas tree. These are Christmas cookies. That is the Christmas log that is over there. And this is Christmas. So <laughs> let's finish with the sprinkles. Beautiful, beautiful. Not as exact as Laura does it, but we're gonna fill up this tray. And then we're gonna stick them in the oven at 375 for seven to eight minutes whenever they're golden brown. And with these cookies, you're gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of sugar to make them shiny. Where's my sugar? I don't know where my sugar is. I don't know where my sugar is. My lovely assistant mommy will get me my sugar to sprinkle on top of these cookies. And that's going to happen right now. Thank you, mom. Look at my beautiful assistant. Thank you, mom. Okay, so I have my giant vat of sugar. And then you're just gonna go like this, you know? This makes them nice and golden brown and like caramelized and beautiful. So we're gonna just sprinkle it on top. Not a lot, just to like, you're not like dumping sugar. You're just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle like this. And you're gonna stick them in the oven. I'm not gonna stick these in the oven yet because I'm gonna fill up the tray, obviously. Um, but so when we come back, these will come out of the oven. We'll finish the Yule log. My mom will come back on. And um, that'll be Christmas. So I'll see you when we come back. Thank you. And we're back. And now it's time to finish the roll. And I'll show you the cookies after the roll. So, so this is the fun part. This is the decorating part, which is what I really like the most. So we're just going to unroll this carefully. And then in a separate bowl, I beat Ooh, up. It's breaking. This, this is very spongy so it's fine it's delicate it's fine it'll yeah. go right back that's together it'll go right back together exactly so in a separate bowl i put um a pint of half a pint. Cream, half a pint of whipped cream and then i put a tablespoon of powdered sugar and then i just put cinnamon to taste or i like it when it's nice and beige so just when it gets that beigey color it has just enough cinnamon don't put too much cinnamon because it can overpower it but if it's a nice beigey color like this, you're good. you're good. So I just plop it in. So where Julia gets her plopping from. Yes, I'm, yes. And Ew, just mom, get that sounds this awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then we're gonna get the spatula. Do it nice and even. Do a nice, even. It's been about 20 minutes, so now it's cool. It's nice and cool, yeah. You don't want it completely cool, mm -hmm. but you don't want it hot, because if it was hot, it would sour your whipped cream. And, and it would melt. It on, and it would melt and get gooky. It would not be good. It would not be so, 
spread it out nice and thin. Because you don't want it to like be spurting out the sides. You see she's not going all the way out because it'll like pour out the sides once we start rolling it back because we have to roll it back up. Yep. It's got to look like a log. That's where my sisters got their rolling techniques from. There we go. Roll it carefully. Careful, Ma. You got this, Ma. It's okay. sticking. That's what a big part of the confectioner's sugar is, so it does not stick to the cheesecloth. Yeah. And it looks, also to make look it look how like Christmassy no. and beautiful it is. Look so that's that. it's so on the nice doilies. On the doilies. Normally I have it on a nice Christmas tray. But we forgot the nice Christmas tray. But we tray. forgot the nice Christmas tray. And so, so we put it on pretty doily. So look at the doily. Okay. It's so beautiful. So now the fun part. We're gonna decorate it. So fun. I love it. You can use real chocolate and melt it. But because we're up here and we have limited resources, you could just use some chocolate syrup. She's lying. She always does like, like this. <laughs> she always uses and the chocolate syrup. And then go like this. Actually, last year I did the other way. Look how gorgeous and that looks. And you just make X's. Just, you're making an X, an X motion. Lots of X's. You got Okay. It. Then you want your snow, which is flaked coconut, yes. sweetened. And you're just going to sprinkle it on. Look at that. Very it's nice. snow. It is Christmas time. This is it's the Christmas, Christmas egg, so. snow. This is a Yule This is Christmas log. snow. Christmas snow. <laughs> but everybody's welcome to eat it. Yes. Okay. And then I put, a, you could put almonds, you could put Whatever walnuts. Whatever you want. This, this is your oyster. I put, I put walnuts. If you really like walnuts, you could chop them up and also put them in the. Inside and roll um, them up. In the whipped cream and You could do that with the up. coconut too. And then you want to put those cherries in And then now we have the maraschino cherries just to give a little in Christmas between. flair. When yeah. I was a little kid, me and Laura would love Christmas time because that's the only time we would have maraschino cherries in the house. And we would hoard them and we would always like sneak eat them. And like my mom wouldn't know, but she knew, always. She always knew, but she was like, I eat the stuff. Just save the cherries because we need them for the And there's and the cinnamon. I just Look, put it's festive. A couple of cinnamon sticks on it. And now also, don't forget about our cookies that we just made. And that's your Yule Log. Eat, enjoy, and isn't it beautiful? Everybody thinks you're a really great baker, and it was easy. And look how quickly we decorated that. So cake. beautiful. All done. But now we have our beautiful cookies. Now my, my wonderful cook, Martina and Jessica, wanted to decorate the cookies, so of course I would never stifle their creativity, and I let them do it. So I have no spatula again, so we're just going to take them off with the knife. Those are double, and so we're going to do like this. We're going to break them. They're nice and soft. Oh man, they're good. These are delicious cookies. So, all right, everybody. Let me not be a sloth. Hold on. This is Get Baked with Julia. It's Christmas time. Go drink some eggnog and get hammered. That in the true Get Baked with Julia spirit. Um, Go eat some candy canes and enjoy Christmas time with your family or Hanukkah or even though it's a Christmas episode. Never mind. Don't have a good Hanukkah. You can have a good Hanukkah. But this is Get Baked with Julia. This is Christmas. That was my mom, Santa was my dad, now you've met my whole family, and go to late night.